Welcome to a Business Minute with Lily Lopez presented by the South Florida Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. It's great to be with you once again. And today we are privileged to have Mr. Rafa Lemán, who's the Vice President of Innovative Transfusion Medicine. Welcome, how are you, Ralph? How are you? How are you? Thank you, thank you for having me. It's an honor Absolutely. being here. Absolutely, I just wanna read a little bit of, of your bio because it's important for people to know who we are interviewing. Okay. He, he plans, he directs, he coordinates, he oversees operations activities in the organization, ensuring development and implementation of efficient operations and cost-effective systems to meet current and future needs of the organization, recruits, interviews, hires, and trains management level staff in the department, oversees the daily workflow of the department, provides constructive and timely performance evaluations, handles discipline and termination of employees in accordance with company policy. Conclusion, he doesn't sleep. That's yeah, the bottom line. Pretty much. <laughs> you do everything, but it's, I'm so happy to, to, to have you on, on the Business Minute and uh, just to talk to you and let the, our members and the community know of everything that um, the company is doing. But I wanna start with just one quick question. Why is it so important to donate blood? Because sometimes people are scared, like me. Some people are scared, donate blood, should I donate blood? Why should I, why shouldn't I? So tell me, in your own words, why is it vital to donate blood? Well, the simplest answer is that you're gonna save someone's life when you donate blood. Like that's that. why, that's our mission. Our, our mission here of Intervent Interfusion Medicine, or ITM, is to provide the service to our hospitals and to be able to uh, save lives. Um, one pint of blood, as you may be aware, could save someone's life and actually saves three lives, one pint of blood. So, really? Okay. Yeah. And it's safe because now I know that people are very scared. People have been scared to go to the dentist, to the doctor. Yes. Anyway, I mean, I, I know people that have really been ill and they don't even want to go to the, to the hospital because of COVID. So imagine donating blood, which is something voluntary. Yes. So uh, what, what is your experience with this now nowadays in the COVID era? Are people very scared? How, how, how are you guys tackling this? Well, Lily, you just... You just hit it right in the center. Um, people are scared of donating blood now. They're thinking of, if I donate blood, I'm gonna catch COVID. And because of that, the way of thinking, unfortunately, um, our blood supply has been, it's been hurting. Um, there is a shortage of blood. Um, COVID has caused, um, throughout the whole United States, our blood supply to, to drop. Um, people are afraid. Uh, we've had a lot of cancellations of blood drives uh, for from schools, from churches, from business, from location, from events, and that has brought um, a big burden to all of us um, because we're in the mission of saving lives. And without donors, um, we can supply blood to our hospitals. So yes, um, to answer your question, people are still afraid um, to donate blood, and that's why our blood supply has dropped a lot. And it's critical now at this it, point. You really now the more levels are ever, very very low. Now more than ever, it's critical. Um, remember, elective surgeries have, mm -hmm. have been canceled because of that, uh, because there's no blood entering into, in, into the hospitals, you know, and all these exactly. cancellations has affected not only South Florida, but it's affected throughout the whole nation, you know. And when you test, um, for, do you test for COVID-19 antibody? Yes, we do. We do. We're doing what's the for, difference in that test? The difference of the test is that it's, it, it, it's the IgG and versus the IgM. Um, we don't want we don't want individuals who are sick uh, donating blood. Um, we want people that are feeling well and healthy, okay. and that's why we're doing um, blood drives for individuals feeling well and healthy. Do you know they ever had the the, the antibodies for COVID? So it's a uh, it's a safeguard. It's a safeguard. And if someone would like to donate blood now, what would they do? Well, they, they could come to. You? They could come to our center here in Miami Lakes. We're at 5753 Miami Lakes Drive. Um, or they could see us on our website um, and www.itmblood.org and follow our blue buses that were out throughout, mm -hmm. throughout whole South Florida. Uh, and do you have a lot of people that just volunteer and just go to donate blood? Or do you find it that it's easier when you do, of course, blood drives, which we are partnering, the South Florida Hispanic Chamber of Commerce will be partnering with you. you. And yes, come uh, August 11th, 12th, 13th, and maybe even 14th, we're gonna be doing a uh, uh, blood drive in different parts of the county. And we're very, very happy and, and honored to, to partner with- uh, Thank you, thank such you. Such a wonderful to represent. Too. Yes, um, and I think it's gonna be very, very good for the community, for our members, and we'll be providing a service, which is what we have always done as a Chamber of Commerce. And of we're very much, in, uh, very much into health and wellness, and we have a committee, 
uh, that does all of the health and wellness tackles issues. And we do breast cancer awareness month, the heart disease awareness. We do a lot of things. So just the thought of partnering with you, I mean, it couldn't have come at a, at a better time. So we, we're very honored um, that you have uh, partnered you, with us. And, and in reality, oh, my last question before I turn it over to sure. Mr. Candy. The levels you say are very, very low for people donating blood here in Miami. Yes. It's the same at the national level, meaning yes. in all cities, that's what you hear all from your colleagues all over the nation? All over the nation, it's it's low. Uh, throughout through all the birth centers, um, people, are, people are not donating. People are afraid. A lot of people are staying home, quarantined. Um, we have to let them know that there's there's no danger in donating blood. No. It's, it's we have to follow, safe. like Lynn, like I mentioned before, um, we have to follow all CDC guidelines and all FDA guidelines uh, to oh. make sure the safety of our, of, of our blood supply is safe. Uh, every single donor, all the area of the blood mobile is wiped down and disinfected. Um, all of our staff are wearing masks and, and shields, uh, face mm -hmm. shields. We're asking individuals when they come and donate blood into our blood mobiles to please to wear their, their mask. It's something that is important. Not only is the safety for yourself, but also for the safety for our staff. Our staff too. Okay, well, thank you. Well, thank you, Ralph Aleman, Vice President of Innovative Transfusion Medicine, thank for you. being at a business meeting with Lily Lopez today. And now I'm going to pass this over to Gendy Alvarez for 90 Seconds of Tech. Thank you, Lily. Thank you so much, Ralph, for joining us today. Now, we just spent some time talking about the importance of donating blood and yes. the fact that so many people are scared. Now, what has your company done in terms of trying to uh, adjust to COVID-19 using technology and digital ways of, of communicating with your donors? Well, yeah, the one thing that we're doing is when we do blood drives and to make the donor feel a lot more safe, we're doing Facebook Live on certain, on certain instances where individuals actually see people coming and donating and, and seeing the procedure, how it's being done. Um, I think actually watching it or Sometimes we've even have had um, the news media follow us in certain blood drives that we've done, and they actually could, you know, do testimonials and see how how important it is to donate blood and see how how digital media and the future of technology has helped um, drive blood drives to people to come in and donate blood. I think that's very important uh, communication. Um, people now all, all over through social media, as I mentioned before and they wanted to find out what's going on and who's doing what. And I think promoting um, through Facebook Live, um, even to th Twitter, um, helps out a lot. Um, and Absolutely. educating, you're educating the most important is the public, you're bringing awareness. Absolutely, social media is the fastest, freest form of publicity and you know that. Um, yes. So I, I thank you so much for joining us. Uh, one more question, what yeah. is your Facebook page name so that we can direct our people over there? Well, you could go to, uh, what is it, uh, www.itmblood.org, and on our Facebook, you'll see it. You'll see ITM, and you'll see our logo. Awesome. For 90 Seconds of Tech, this is Yendi Alvarez with the South Florida Hispanic Chamber. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to donate blood. Thank you.